to today's video. We are the Story Girls and my name is Kelsey. And my name is Becky. Today we have a DIY bar cart for you and this video is made possible thanks to Clyde Mays Whiskey. And it's great because one of you guys actually asked for a DIY bar cart so we got a message to our Tumblr a while back. I'm sorry it's taking so long. But um, she said she was moving into her new apartment, which we're really good at new apartment DIYs, aren't we? And she wanted like a bar cart to help decorate her apartment. But don't worry if you are not over the legal age because this bar cart is very versatile. Yes, we can do like a kitchen island or a microwave stand, which is what it's actually kind of marketed for. Yeah, or I think it'd be great in your bedroom with like a hairstyling, makeup station. Yeah, that'd be so, so good. good. So uh, here's how you can make your own. So you're gonna start with a microwave cart, a kitchen cart, or a bar cart. We got this one off of a family member's hands that didn't want it anymore. You can also find lots on Kijiji or Craigslist for cheap. Or from Ikea, this one was an Ikea model for $39. So you're gonna to wanna to take apart your cart and lay out all of the pieces and give them a nice coat of spray paint. Feel free to do the shelves in different colors, make it fun, or paint it with a brush if it's a wood cart. We did spray paint since ours is metal. It's also a good idea to prime a project before starting to make it longer lasting. Once all of the pieces are done, it should look like this. And next, we reassembled our cart. We then took this steel grate that we bought at the home hardware store and measured it out to fit on the side of our cart. We started cutting with bolt cutters, but didn't get very far uh, because it was way too thick. So we ended up having to take it to my boyfriend's place where he used a grinder to cut it. So we would definitely recommend that you purchase a thinner aluminum or really strong bolt cutters if you're going to do this step. After it was cut to the right size, we also spray painted it to match the rest of our cart. Next we have to attach our side panel to the cart. We are using JB Weld Glue for metal to metal contact. You use this glue by mixing an equal amount of each tube together and then applying it to your project. We put a dot of glue at the corner of each metal piece where it would touch the leg of the cart. Once a dot of glue is applied to each point, we flipped it over and pressed it down. We added tape to the top to make sure that the glue was adhering the two pieces together and make sure that you let this cure for 15 to 24 hours. Next we're going to make some straps to hold wine bottles onto the grate that we just made. So taking some leather, faux leather, or fabric, we're going to cut out long strips that are about 1 inch wide by 13 and a half inches long. After we have four of these cut out, we're going to mark part way down the top on both ends of the strap. And taking a leather punch, you can punch an appropriately sized hole on each end as well. We're going to be using these brass fasteners to attach the leather straps to our wine rack. So once our holes are all punched, we can loop our leather in half and slide the brass fastener through it. We already had this leather from a previous project, so we thought we'd use it, but don't feel like you have to use leather if you don't want to. Now that our grate has dried to our cart, we can remove the tape. We're gonna add the final touches, which are our leather wine straps. We did this by estimating where we want the straps to sit on our grate. We used a wine bottle to make sure that they were appropriately spaced. Once all four are estimated where we want them to go, you can use some pliers to wrap the ends of the fasteners around the metal and tighten them into place. And the very last step is to stock your bar cart. We added our Clyde Mays whiskey, which is the five to six year age bourbon. Uh, which is finished in Clyde May style, or what they call Alabama style. Clyde May was a moonshiner in Alabama who actually never sold a legal bottle of alcohol in his life, and that may be the reason why you haven't heard of it until right now. And there's a hint of apples in the whiskey, which makes it smoother than almost any other American whiskey. So that is what we chose for our bar cart. Let us know what you would include on your bar <laughs> cart if you are a drinker. If not, let us know how you might do this DIY or what you're gonna put on it. We would love to see your guys' own spin on these bar carts because I've seen a lot of awesome ones on the internet. People doing like gold or other yeah. colors. So I can't upcycle, right? Yeah, it's a big thing right now. I love IKEA upcycling. It's so Did I good. do it right? IKEA upcycle? Oh, it's called an IKEA hack. IKEA hack. IKEA hackers, yeah. I think is the website. But either way, loves it all. Hopefully you guys love it as well. And I guess we will be seeing you guys next Tuesday. See you then. Bye. Bye.